If you jump into a cold car this winter and the seat freezes your bum, you don't have to put up with it anymore with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just ordered this. It's by Auto Drive, and it is a heated seat cushion, 12 volt, and it's got low and high settings. So it's kind of like your standard heated car seat, but this one doesn't make you spend all that extra money on that Luxo version of your car. Your old car, your beater, your cloth seat, the one with the low tech settings, you know, the cars that don't even have automatic climate control. Now you can have all the warmth and goodness of a heated seat with this. So I picked this up because it was the cheapest one I could find and I thought, well, let's see if it works. It promises to heat up in 60 seconds. So that's, all the unboxing here. And here is the seat itself. This material here is kind of like the padded jersey material that is on the straps of backpacks. It's very padded. And as you can see, it's kind of like a tight weave nylon. You can see there's a little bit of design. It's black, so it should go with everything. You know, orange is not the new black. Black is the new black. And pretty long here, almost uh, three and a half feet maybe. And if I flip it over here, you can see that all of this folds out. This is what it looks like kind of from the so you have these sides that will cover your bolsters and then down here you even have some side panels that will cover the seat bolsters but i think you know most of the hardware here is just going to be in the middle i think the pad is going to be inside here this back side kind of looks like a tyvek material it's kind of like a paper like material but we have some straps with buckles here so this will go over the top you know around the headrest on either side and hold this to the seat and then even on the bottom here we have some elastic straps so this will go around say you know the reclining handle or the seat belt right and then you have a couple straps here so this can clip underneath the seat maybe to the seat runners and then on this side you can see hanging off here is the control so what we have is a wire here it's a little bundled up with the controller and there's probably about oh, 20 inches between the seat and the controller itself and then we have this plastic box right here and you can see here it's just heat not cooling just heat but you can see it says low off and high so it's in the middle position right there off and then low and high in the winter you might just want to leave it on high and then here we have the 12 volt plug and i will tell you that there's about oh probably about two and a half feet from the controller to the plug so you plug this in the cigarette lighter or the power accessory adapter in your car should fit most American style power outlets here. And then you can turn this on. Now, one thing I will say is that many of the outlets, especially my cars, don't have power if the car is off. So you can probably plug this in and keep it turned on. You know, so if I use like my remote start, what that usually will do is turn the outlet on. So I could use the remote start, have this plugged in, have this turned on, then the outlet will go power and then this will start heating up. And so when I get to my car a few minutes later, ooh wee, this could be warm, we'll see. It's been really cold around here, even though we don't have snow on the ground right now, it has been as cold as negative 11 around here. So it can be pretty cold. My car can work a little bit to start up in the morning sometimes, but I was thinking, man, with this, ooh, this might feel so much better. And I'll tell you what, because this isn't leather, I don't know that it will conduct that cold to your body as much as my leather seats will. So even if this were just to cover, I wasn't even using the electric heated portion, you know, it would probably be more comfortable when I get in there. You wouldn't get the shock of that cold leather on my naked body. I should probably put on clothes before I get in my car, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that. All right, so let's get this in the car, turn it on and see if it works. All right, at my car here, I'm going to just see how quickly I can put this on. I'm not going to necessarily try to do this to be super secure. I uh, want to go for a little bit of speed here. So if I just kind of drape it over the sides like this, you know, what's actually probably easiest is to take off the headrest and run these between there. But you can just unclip this here. And then I think this is supposed to go underneath the back of the seat here. So I'm just going to run these through the back of the seat cushion. I'm gonna run these underneath the seat cushion here and then run the top ones through the posts of the headrest like this. And then clip them in the back. All right, so I've got that there. I've got the crease right there. I'm not going to worry too much about the bottom hooks right now. And 
just kind of let it float there a little bit. Go ahead and plug this in and then let's fire the car up. All right, I plugged this in and I was watching the clock because I was trying to time this thing and it said 11.11 and I was like, oh, well, I don't expect it to heat up in 11.11. It'll probably roll over to 11.12. The funny thing is I started recording because I wanted to let you know that I can feel it in my back. Maybe not my bum as much. I can kind of feel like the warm bottom, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, apple bottoms. But what I can really feel in my lower back, it's actually getting kind of warm. And as soon as I started recording, it rolled over to 1112. So I would say within the first minute, you're going to start feeling warmth and it's feeling so good, you know? I mean, oh, yeah. Feels like I'm taking a warm shower on the lower portion of my back. Now that we are rolling up on another minute here, I can definitely feel it on the bottom. And the funny thing is, I kind of wondered about the high versus low setting and if the high would be uncomfortable. I will tell you, it's a pretty cold day right now. I mean, this is what it looks like. It isn't snowing, but it is pretty cold. And I'll tell you what, this isn't uncomfortable. It feels pretty good I'm getting in my car and I've got this warmth here. And the other thing I will tell you is that the remote start in this Buick here, so I can start it with my key fob or the app, will run for up to 10 minutes to warm up, which is pretty nice because I can tell you that it takes that long for the climate control to actually start putting out some heat, especially in the cold weather. Sometimes it's really not that warm, but knowing that now we are at 1113, so two, three minutes into this, and this seat warmer is actually really warm, even if the car isn't up to temp and warmed up, I can get in and it will be pretty toasty. Oh man, this feels pretty good. I guess, can you only use this in your car? Can I get one that just plugs into the wall and heats up my office chair too? Because this is pretty good. I almost feel like my front is getting neglected. Maybe I'll wrap it on my front like an umpire's protective padding and warm up my front because, geez, ooh, my backside's getting all the good stuff. So right now, I'll tell you what, on a high, I'm actually liking this. It may continue to rise. It doesn't feel bad to me. You know, some people might be like, ooh, it's a little too hot, turn it down to low. But right now, I'm going to go run some errands. I'm going to leave it on high, and we'll see if it gets too hot and if I turn it down to low. So give it some real-world testing now. All right, I've been driving around for a few minutes here. I kind of wondered if uh, running the engine here would push a little bit more voltage through the cigarette lighter and uh, make this thing feel like it is even warmer. But I will tell you this, it is, I think it's 36 degrees out right now, so it's chilly, but it's not super cold. It's not like we have snow coming down or anything like that. But this is a day when I would get in the car and the seats would be ooh, cold and uh, we'd have shrinkage and all sorts of other things. So it's just kind of nice, one, to get on cloth seats here that don't make me shiver, but two, it's getting warm. Now, one of the things I was wondering is, this, does it get too warm? And I will tell you this, right in my lower back, at the top of my bum, it's a little too warm. Now, I only have a shirt and pants on here, so it's not exactly like I am in a big down coat or winter gear or heavy winter pants or something like that, which would tend to mute how much heat you're feeling. But in regular street clothes, it's just a little too warm. Not like super uncomfortable, but if I were running around all day, doing errands, you know, long commute, I would at this point turn it down to low, you know, because it's just a little bit of warmth would be fine, but it's just a little too hot. Not uncomfortable, not getting me scorched or anything. What I kind of equated to is like when you get in the shower, you know, and sometimes you've got it tuned up just a little too warm. You know, it's not burning you and you're not scalding. It's not like you're screaming or anything like that, but it's just warm enough or just slightly out of the comfort zone where you would turn around, grab the handle and then move it two more millimeters towards cold just to take a little bit of the edge off. That's kind of what it feels like to me. I've been in seat heaters in cars where the high setting is almost unbearable. 
and this is not that high. So I think for a lot of normal use, this is going to be perfect. So I'm gonna head back home here, turn it down to low, and just leave it on low to be really honest because I think by the time I remote start my car and let it warm up for four or five minutes on low, it's gonna just be nice. It's gonna make the car feel that much nicer. I don't know, maybe leave it on high and then turn it to low when you feel uh, like it is warm enough. You know, especially I guess, if we get that polar vortex around here again and it's negative 10 degrees well then i'll leave it on high so that is it those are my thoughts i think this is actually a pretty good deal because it was only like 20 something dollars now i don't have heated seats on all the seats or anything but you know for me getting in my car in the winter this is going to be a lifesaver or more accurately a lower back and butt saver so if you want to pick it up i'll put a link to this in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than everything.